Fernando Tatis Jr. An exciting player. A very good player, but a player you do not usually see in this position. Hi, welcome back to You Better Put the Salmon in the Oven. It'll be ready by five. I am doing something that is for test purposes, and I know for a fact it won't be as bad as everyone might think it will be. I have done this for test purposes many times, and sometimes it's been amazing, and sometimes it just simply does not do anything well. Fernando Tatis Jr. will be behind the plate tonight. I want to see what I'm dealing with in a position like this. He does have eight fielding behind the plate, which is honestly good for somebody who does not have any type of primary or secondary position for catcher really if you have above zero it's very good he has a 99 arm i'm about to go into a ranked seasons game this has to be done discreetly so your opponent doesn't realize you have somebody at a position behind the plate if you are wondering why i am not all over ranked seasons on my main account to try to get to world series well i have news and i'm I have a lot ready. I have three games ready to go. They've been done. If I look like a shell of a man, it's because I've been playing more ranked than usual. But that should just be obvious. We have liftoff. This is going to be great because it is not... Maybe? Actually, let's let's just all sit around a table together with a bunch of marshmallows and melted Nutella in front of it. There's no such thing as a non-stressful game anymore. The goal of this game is to not succeed. The main priority is that Tatis just needs to do well behind the plate. That's that's really it. That's there's nothing else that really needs to be done here. Mother fuck what why are the trees made of stone in this game they are made out of dry molten rock they just bound the ball bounces off of them how the hell can that possibly be any faster if this was on a difficulty that was high up is this stadium 200 feet to right Dude. And that one is gone. Vogelback. Jesus, this guy's a milk truck. No. What? See, this is where you just become silly looking. You look silly when you come out of the gates. You shit on everything you see, and then you just do stupid shit like that. Now the opponent knows I'm just a full on blanket of cow shit. That's almost embarrassing it hit him. That was behind him. God, I really have to urinate right now. It's bad. It's very bad. I think this game just simply destroys your body physically. This is what you do. You can't throw anything low, and that's fine, because what, what does low do anyway? If they don't chase low, there's no point of throwing low, right? Does that make sense, right? You don't want to do that. Oh, we're shifting. Low as in below the, the, the strike zone. Low. Watch, this one will be caught. I don't know how this is working. What is that? Bounce off a tree. I may have fooled him. I just thought of that now. He probably saw the lineup. And assumed that Santana was the catcher. Is this guy high on toe fungus? He missed a pitch. He missed a change up, up by feet. There's a lot of old Strabo to sneeze. <laughs> It's amazing, isn't it? <coughs> oh, I think there was a fluff on my shirt in my nose. I wiped my nose with my arm and then I sniffed in there. I felt something go into my brain. What happened? I feel it's almost I feel it sitting there, actually. What does this guy want? Daniel Vogel back to hit another one? Stick it up here and leaving runners stranded. I didn't even have to look at the ball. It'll be made every time. Dude, Tatis 
is elite. I think if you just get a catcher who has above zero fielding, they will probably be able to get the job done. Something happened. There was a couple of years ago where catchers just simply would not make catches. Now they catch everything. They catch everything behind the play unless it's in the dirt. Look, he looks like a seasoned veteran back there. Johnny Bench is taking tips from Tati. All right, that was the first one. That, that was the first one he legitimately draw. Then he catches that. Oh my gosh. I don't know if this, is Lance Lynn good? Bullshit. Strikeout. Yeah. Jake Swing tried to hold up. Now would appeal to third. And he went around. There's a swing and a drive. And it's off the wall. <laughs> I'm getting bad flashbacks of balls just being ripped to shreds. Does this stadium have max elevation? I'm getting lightheaded sitting here. I don't know if it's this light or I'm just my bladder might be in my brain. This light sucks. You look at it, it's you feel like you're getting your wisdom teeth taken out. You're getting fucking wheeled into What? Hey, just lay here and count to ten. And then by the time you count to ten, you'll be out. And then the next time you wake up, you'll be all you'll be all right. You fucking lied to me. I counted to four. The next time I woke up, I had blood all over my shirt. Three one, and he couldn't come up with it. But Buffy the Vampire Slayer got to me. This guy is throwing millions of pitches with Walter Johnson at the moment. Now hold on a sec. Let's see if he can handle this one. He would have. Here, go back to it. I'm telling you, Tatis looks smooth. Smooth. Look at him. Rube Baker is soiling his pants. That went through the umpire. No, don't start to get all excited and heat up now, pal. Let's relax. Calm down. I've counted one baseball Tatis has dropped. Oh, God, I have to sneeze again. Danny. Danny! Oh my Christ, that almost left. That was above his head. A tennis racket. What? What did this guy? Well, it's probably a good thing that I have a nine run lead because that's about as all as I will probably get now. Sharp grounder, that's through for a base hit. Huh, I guess it's kind of hard to miss that one. I think everything is just finding holes. There's like an ant farm when Peter Pan walks towards it. There's holes everywhere. You can't find one. You can't find an infielder on his team. It's it's going by everybody. If that was hit. That's gone. Why not make a absolutely insane play when it's this? Get the hell out of here. Where will this go? Why does Jack Sawinski look like he's 80? Slice the other way. That's a base hit. And that keeps the inning alive. Ah, boy. How is this guy not gone deep yet? It is down to the very last out. Swings and crushes one. Right field, way back, and gone. Side. Cruz on the first, and that ends the inning. Well, I don't know what they did in the cage day or on the field for batting practice, but when you win by... I'll be right back. All right, I feel much, much better. That might be an understatement. Wait a minute. Another opener? Let's see Tatis in action this game. Actually, why even bother worrying? Because I know it's going to work. I want to see somebody on base and then him try to throw somebody out. That might be the only concern, possibly. Hello? John Gibbons, is that you? Jesus Christ, did you see that? 
Uh oh, that was probably in a bad spot. Okay, that wasn't in a bad spot. To tease. Tease. Tell me, Tatis is unbelievable in this game now. Why not put up more runs in the last... Or then the last game? What? Who does he have at short? I want to know the strategy behind the opener. It's becoming more common, I feel like. It's like seeing the guy at the grocery store you talk shit to on Xbox 10 years ago. You may have said something about his mother, and then the next time you see him, you're coming face to face in the orange juice department. That might get down. Why did he? Now the throw comes in. Runner holds it third. Now the tag at second, and he's out. What are you moving like a damn robot for? I guess I should say now that I'm waiting in the pause menu that if you see me in a different room in about a week, it's because I've moved my setup to a different room in the house. I did not move to a different house, I just moved to a different room in the house because this room just simply is kind of pissing me off. This room is too small, and there's something wrong with the window in it. Sometimes at one in the morning, I hear things by the window and scared to death to look outside of it. Oh, a strike, stupid. There's two outs in the inning, and now I can't throw one? Wait. Wait a second here. This one chopped on the ground, but foul. What's happening? Pitch, pause, pitch, pause. Why? Come on, send this ball to the Guitar Hero 3 set. That one ripped right it's deep. Field. That's back. It's high and a little bit deep. Sawinski, Sawinski has done it again. Old man Sawinski. I love Tatis. He's amazing. Why do I play like cat shit when games are of importance, but when it's just some shit like this, everyone is teeing off. Everyone is Rory McIlroy. Or was that even, that makes sense. Can't even do anything wrong offensively. This is almost annoying. You showed up to the DMV and asked for the secret masseuse. It'd make less sense than what we're looking at. Tatis is incredible behind the plate and the offense is shitting on everything. I just threw the wrong pitch, but let's see if this works. How did he catch that? Got him. Two away. He cut that one? This is this is just simply strange now. That one ripped left field. That's back. That one is gone. That one just felt different. To tease, to tease, to tease. Might be the new starting catcher. Can you believe this? Who is better than Tatis behind the plate? Ever since the second inning or whatever the hell it's been, I don't know if anyone's done anything. Someone find a damn gap again. This is like playing squash at the moment. Sit down, you pathetic. Hit well, right field, way back, and gone. Fuck you. It's a pile of shit. This man is a one-man show. Tatis is doing all... Yeah. I don't know what that even feels like anymore. This one high in the air to left center. Makes the catch. Danny. Let's see how this goes with a reliever. You gotta try everything you can to see if it works. It's working. Put this guy on the all-star game ballot. Alright, that is, that may have just proved. Sawinski? So so Tatis is catching a pitch feet inside. That's weird. I'm gonna put up a run, useless. Huh? We're walking on the moon. 
that might be. Very deep. Almost to the next stadium. I'm going to be honest with you. I've been playing so much ranked seasons lately that my brain is legitimately just turkey gravy at the moment. It's just impossible to even say a sense. That's kind of big. Let's do this. Tatis, I don't think has dropped a ball this game. The last game he dropped one, but this one, I don't think so. This is one of the most impressive catcher performances I've seen. And I wish I could lie to you and say that that isn't the truth. It is the truth. If I get to two outs and no one's on base, I might hit somebody right in the skull. Actually, he has to steal though. So that doesn't work. To get him to steal the base. And that is it. That will be the game. That will be the outing of the ages for Tatis. Where is that son of a bitch? That was insanely impressive what he was able to do. The question has been answered. Can you play a ranked seasons game with an out of position catcher or more specifically with Fernando Tatis Jr. behind the plate? Well, you bet your ass you can. And if you bet your ass that you couldn't, then you might as well just take your ass and throw it out the door.